in parts of the country where you experience snow for the winter, it may be necessary to use a pad such as this Kirkhart snow pad, snow rim pad. And uh, they're easy to apply and they're very effective at keeping the snow from freezing to the inside of your shoe and, and uh, building up into large dangerous items in the bottom of a horse's hoof. We choose the appropriate size and here I have side clips on this shoe so I need to make a mark for this clip to fit in to this pad. And I'll use a grinder, you can use a knife, scissors, some people use the nippers. Then it's necessary to cut this so that the collateral sulcus cleans. I'm going to work on cutting these clips in. I can use a marker and I can mark where those clips need to be cut in. Or I can put the pad on the shoe, center that up, and I'm just going to mark it here with the stone. And remember that as you flex this around, it stretches that mark out. And what we want to fit is the base of the clip. So I'm setting that in. I want to flip it over and make sure that my rim is coming into the inside width of web of that shoe and that the mark that I have cut in there is wide enough to fit right down to the solar surface of that shoe. Once I've achieved that on that side, I'll move over to the other side. Get the pad in the position that you're going to want it in mark where we want to start working on the pad. I'll take some off, place the pad back on the shoe, check the position of that, and further cut in. And once I have that pad set in there, now I can go to cutting out for the clean out area of the collateral sulcus. When I'm cutting the pad for the clean out, I'm going to go at the same angle as the collateral sulcus of the frog and cut that off so that I don't have an area that catches a great deal of debris. The purpose of this pad is to keep from debris from building up. And I'll leave just a little bit extra on the sides and clean that off when I'm finishing the foot. set that shoe on there with the Kirkhart rim snow pad. I have break over lateral toe quarter. The collateral sulcus is clean so that can be picked out even with that pad on. 
my heels are covered, room for expansion, my clips fit in, my knees break over in this corner. Remember that this horse had a defect in the hoof wall from an old interference injury or abscess, so our ability to use these nail holes may somewhat be compromised. We'll take that into consideration. Mm -hmm. 